So good day my dear STEM students. So for today we'll be discussing all about molecular formula of a given substance. Okay? So what you need in computing for the molecular formula? So number one, you need your calculator and then your modern periodic table. So these are the two essential tools in computing for molecular formula. So followed by your knowledge in computing for the number of moles, then your knowledge in computing for the formula and molecular mass, and your knowledge in computing for the empirical formula. So in case na nakalimutan ninyo mag-compute nitong tatlong to, just simply... I uh, review it and then visit our YouTube channel. Nandun lahat yung uh, tutorial video in these three topics. Okay. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate molecular formula given the molar mass. So before we start, let us define first what is molecular formula. So molecular formula is the formula that indicates the actual number of atoms present in a molecule of a molecular substance. You also call this molecular formula as the true formula because it shows the actual number of atoms uh, present in a given chemical formula. Not unlike in the empirical formula, the empirical formula only shows the simplest whole number ratio of each constituent elements present in a given substance. Pero pag molecular formula, the true formula, nandun la yung, yung tamang uh, number of atoms. Kaya usually, pag molecular formula, uh, medyo malalaki yung subscript nila, yung number of atoms. Kasi it, it shows the actual number of atoms present. So in our first example, so a compound was analyzed to contain 43.6% phosphorus and 56.4% oxygen. So, what is the molecular formula of the compound if the molecular mass is 284 gram per mole? Okay, this molecular mass, which is 284 gram per mole, given lagi to sa problem, you cannot compute for the molecular formula if this uh, particular value is uh, not included in the given problem. So, laging kasama yan. This is based on experimental data. So, you, you do not need to compute for this one kasi given na siya palagi. Okay, so let us start. Step 1, compute for the empirical formula. So in computing for the empirical formula, so we have to complete first this data table, all the information. So for better understanding, so we have two elements, namely phosphorus and oxygen. You identify the mass. So given to, paano na identify ang mass? So you just simply change the percentage sign of these two elements Okay, which is 43.6 and then 56.4 so grams na yan kagad so hindi mo na yan i-compute so column B so atomic mass so the atomic mass of these two elements you just simply consult your periodic table so phosphorus is 31.0 and oxygen is 16.0 gram per mole these are the two masses of these two atoms then compute for the number of moles this is mass to mole stoichiometry so, how to compute for the mass, mass mode? You just simply divide the two value, A divided by B, A, 43.6, divided by 31.0, and then you will get 1.41. This is understood the number of moles. Okay, so number, uh, let us proceed to oxygen, 56.4 divided by 16 uh, gram per mole, then you will get 3.53 moles of oxygen. To get the simplest ratio, you have to identify the smallest value of mole. Then we write 141 divided by 141 because 141 is the smallest. You will get 1. And then 3.33 divided by the smallest. And then you will get 2.5. So we had an agreement in our previous discussion in empirical uh, computing for the empirical formula, if you get 2.5, you think of a number that when you multiply 2.5, it will become whole number. Okay? So if you multiply this 2.5 for a particular number, you also multiply the other atom, kung yung ginamit yung number dito sa oxygen. So that is 2, then 1 times 2, multiply it by 2, and you will get 2. Then 2.5 times 2, you will get 5. 
So this 2 and 5 will become the subscript of your empirical formula. This is P205 or diphosphorus pentaoxide. This is the empirical formula. Okay? So for step 2, you calculate the molecular mass of the empirical formula. So our empirical formula is P205. So in a, uh, calculating the molecular mass, the first step is to identify the number of atoms present in each constituent elements. For oxygen, meron kayong 5. For phosphorus, meron kayong 2. And then this 5 and 2 will be multiplied. The number of atoms will be multiplied to the atomic mass of that element. So for oxygen, we have 16 gram per mole and then for phosphorus that is 31 gram per mole then you will get 80 gram per mole for oxygen and then 62 gram per mole so phosphorus and then this two value you will add this two value to get 142 grams per mole this is your molecular or empirical mass okay so for step three to determine the molecular formula calculate the ratio of molar mass to empirical mass okay so n is equal to molar mass so given the problem you just look at the value okay divided by the empirical mass so this is the answer in step two okay so n is equal to 284 this is the molar mass given the problem divided by 142 gram per mole and then you will cancel the unit then you will obtain the number two as your answer so for step four you will derive the molecular formula so the molecular formula is empirical formula that is p205 times your n okay so you mo multiply yung n na yan okay you will multiply n doon sa subscript ng inyong empirical formula so for phosphorus that is two two times two you will get p4 and then for oxygen 5 times 2, you will get 10. Oxygen, 10 ang subscript. And that is tetraphosphorus decaoxide. This is your molecular formula. So, in case na kayo ay uh, tanungin, which of the following is the represents the molecular formula of the compound? If you're going to compare molecular formula, itong P4O10, and then P2O5, kapag molecular formula, you will look at the subscript. Kapag nare-reduce nyo pa, in simplest uh, number or ratio, yung mga subscript, that is the molecular formula. Pero kapag ang subscript, hindi nyo na siya nare-reduce. That is the empirical formula. That is the indicator if you're going to, uh, if you are going to be asked, Kung which of the following is a molecular or empirical formula. Basta pag molecular formula, the subscript is all uh, always reducible. While the empirical formula, hindi nyo na nare-reduce ang subscript para madali. Okay? So, if you have any question, you just leave your comment below. Okay? And then don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. So, thank you.